Hey guys, this is Brooke here and I'm in the DSC kitchen and today I'm here for One Pot Wednesday. Do you smell what the Brooke is cooking? Let's get started. Wednesday we are going to be making a one pot turkey chili. We're going to be using this one pot that is literally called rock the one pot. You can serve out of it, you can toss it in the oven, you can cook with it on the stove, it literally does it all, it's indestructible, you can eat out of it, your fork will not scratch it, I promise. And now we are going to add some olive oil. We just have one yellow onion, um, just chopped. Is that in there? Amazing. All right, so we've cooked our onions for about a minute or two, just so that they're a little bit softer. And now we're gonna add in our turkey meat. Sit that in there. And something I also like to do is season with salt and pepper um, before I cook down the turkey all the way. I just think it really infuses the meat with flavor, so it's all the flavors are kind of melding together while the turkey meat is cooking. We'll add in more of these seasonings later, but the meat really does take on full flavor while it's cooking with them. So at this point, you have ground your turkey meat on the outside, still a little bit pink on the inside, but you're gonna wanna add all your other ingredients um, so that it can all really cook together. We're gonna add some dark red kidney beans, some garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. These kind of pots, when you're making a one pot recipe, it's super important to have even heat distribution because if you don't, you know, your one pot recipe can be kind of cooked on one side, kind of not on the other. This is one of the best pans I've ever used, actually. All right, so now we're going to add our crushed tomatoes. Add that in there. And surprise, surprise. Remember that DIY hot ghost chili sauce that I made? Well, we are gonna toss some of that in this chili too. Such a great smoky hot flavor. I would say like, be pretty lenient in the beginning and then, you know, depending on your heat preferences or your tolerance really, or the tolerance of your friends who are gonna be eating this with you, um, add a more or less as you desire. And then I'm going to pop the top on this and turn the heat down to a simmer. So let's pop the top on and turn the heat to low and let it simmer for a little while. All right, so this has been simmering for about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna give it a shot. And this is the point where you can add any more spices if you'd like. Really good. Let's serve it. We can use these adorable little ramekins that I personally love. I think this is a great serving size because then you know exactly how many you're eating on your 10th one. I think that's a pretty good way to gauge it. And we have this little baby ladle too, whoopsies. And you can choose whatever toppings you'd like. This is the point where you can really spice it up and make it really awesome. I am personally a fan of shredded cheese. And cheese. And more cheese. And maybe a little bit of green. Cilantro. One of my other favorites. Look how cute that is. So cute. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the DSC Kitchen on One Pot Wednesday. I'm going to go enjoy this in front of the TV and Netflix and chili. See you later.